Okay, guys, I'm trying to restart the stream here. Let me know how it is. I have to um, bring the board up again. All right. Looks looks like it might work this time. Hope the speed is fast enough. Not a high res video game we're playing here. Um, hopefully that is uh, is not a problem. So usually once it settles in, I, I get it to. Uh, I get it to work, but once in a while we have to restart a couple times. All right, let me know if that's good for you guys. So d4 c5 from Felipe Adriel, that's a very aggressive move. Favorite move of a good friend of mine. And we need to close it up with d5 if we really want to get an advantage. Pilot 100. This guy's 2065. He lost a few points. I think he was higher before. Um, or maybe that was Blitz. I don't know. Sound is okay. Yeah, the sound is never a problem, except when I forget to turn on my mic. Then we, we have a lot of games with Knight f3d5, man. This is getting a little bit like monotonous. We have four or five games that are identical. All right. Now, Knight F3. Vanirek, 1993. That's a respectable rating. You have no screen. You'll get the screen. Babak, 888. I think rather than C5, I'm going to play E6 here. And bide my time. See what you're going to do. Azim Lee Sitari, not usually playing King's Indian. That's kind of different. I'm actually seeing two different boards that have the same position. Shevardingan, what's up? Um, you have no screen. You will get a screen. Beep, beep, 2094. All right, let's see what's up there. Maybe Grunfeld, maybe King's Indian. And now Dark Chess Prod Lord. 1500 provisional. We know that doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, have we played you before? Apparently not. So C takes D is good for white. Stream is... I'm a little worried about the stream. It doesn't seem to matter what uh, frame rate I put it on. I'm getting problems every time. Usually it settles in and, and it stops giving me hassles, but today it's been twice now. All right, I need to take one day and just do some research on the, the broadcasting software. Bishop G2, prime number, all right? Wolfie and Shadow 2. The big Star Traff, Star Traff, StarCraft 2 event right now, and we will have all Polish finals, wow. Elki must be excited. All right, so, yeah, this is an interesting position where uh, I guess knight c3 might be more accurate than e4. I, I don't know. Is e4 more accurate or knight c3 here? It's a good question. Does it really matter? I don't want to play without e4. Um, pilot 100. Not a lot of open games here. All right. King's Indian. We've got a Nimzo English defense type position against Babak, Babak 888. Uh, Chefmaster, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of King's Indian type stuff now. Interesting move from passive Freya, A6. That's a uh, quite unusual sort of setup for Black, but seemingly like viable. Not really sure how to react here. Maybe E3. Kind of quiet, play a Tarash or Queen's Gambit accepted type position. Hopefully, um, what's up, John Capone? Capone or Capone? We'll have to ask Al how it's pronounced. Um, E4. You know, in America we hear both Capone and Capone, but I guess Al Capone is is the way that Americans typically pronounce the famous gangster name. 
though it's you know it's true pronunciation capone um g6 Azimli Sotari not really playing the King's Indian usually, so I'm gonna to try to challenge him in uh, in a sharp game there. Stream is stable. It, I'm getting this like yellow and red flashing light. Oh, geese again. Yeah, D4. I forget. I always forget that you play the Scotch. I hate the Scotch. Um, okay, Knight to C6. We got a Lopez against GCEW, GCEDW. Just easier to say GCEW. Against Max123, I think we had the same variation once before. Um, Pawn Spanker has has played tough against me in the past. Looks like King's Indians outweigh the Grunfelds here. And now I'm not going to make this move castles. I'm going to play C4. Actually, no. C4 is early here because you haven't even moved your bishop on C8 yet. I think, yeah, castles is fine. I always thought it was pronounced like Capone. That's what Shevin Ingen says. But if you watch any kind of American gangster movie, they're always like Al Capone. But that's just Hollywood, isn't it? I mean, the real, you know, the real pronunciation. Anybody who knows Italian names is probably like, it's not Capone. I mean, that's like, all right. So Pilot 100, uh, we are playing Grunfeld ourselves, actually, Pillage Reverse. A piece of sheet with f5 definitely a provocative move the fred ah, so the scotch man i already used my secret weapon g6 against you once before i think didn't i geese so you probably know the theory of the scotch better than me let's play bishop c5 and then philip felipe adriel my my good good friend, uh, an older I am, Emil Salanci from Hungary. He's been playing this um, this e6 Benoni for all his life, um, and uh, follower of of and friend of the late Bela Pereni, who was uh, inventor of the the Pereni variation in Nydorf. It was kind of a group of Hungarian masters, um, along with Grandmaster Tibor Tolnai, who worked a lot on this uh this weird like benoni franco benoni so to speak okay e6 knight c3 want to play a samish with white against the king's indian shepherding it says yeah an original italian is pronounced like capone yeah the americans bastardized that name like they do everything um okay Okay, my name is like Pascal, but the Hungarians say Pascal, because they don't, you know, know how to say it any other way. All right, castles here. Now, what do we want to do against prime number? It's a Sicilian, or it's a closed Sicilian, or it's a Dutch. I don't know what it is exactly. Could play d6 I guess and now g6 so ILG with interesting move order and we can play a kind of King's Indian attack we've got a normal King's a lot of King's Indian type positions with both colors no matter what I do around here with both colors all right Babak 888 we've got a early a3 Nimzo Indian we could transpose directly into the Nimzo with knight f6. Looks like a solid option. Ambulance is coming from my opponents, obviously. You guys can barely hear that, I'm sure. So the plan is to chat quite a bit here before we get to the end. Um, what happened in the, in the Isle of Man final round? Anybody see that? I haven't had a chance to uh, really check it out. So Elianov was in the lead. All right. Baseball. Baseball's not good. You ruined the Red Sox lost both their playoff games so far. Uh, what other? I'm, I'm not a big football fan being an American. Um, yeah, I don't really know a lot of European football. So still 
Still just watching baseball. No hockey. Bishop f5. He ruin likes hockey. Our faithful moderator here. Bishop f5. Um, yeah. That's different. Last time you played a different line with like bishop g4, max. I think, if I remember correctly, you're switching up on me. I might have had this position against Feingold once. I'm thinking I had this against Ben Feingold. Like, pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, bishop b5 check. And I played some weird line like that against him. It was a draw in the US Championship. I can't even remember. It was so long ago. I didn't even remember the game. Bishop f5, very, very solid for black. Unfortunately for me. Um... So, what to do? You could play b3, I guess. Not really a big fan of that. Carolina won. Elianov had a quick draw. So, Elianov was playing... Um, so? Was it Wesley So on board one? So, So took a draw with white, or how was it? A quick draw? What's with So's motivation for a quick draw? He shouldn't like have to like go all out for a win, right? I mean, the, the problem is, like, the appearance fees for, like, So and Nakamura were probably, like, bigger than the prizes. I'm thinking that, <laughs> like, what's your motivation to play when, like, your appearance fee is is bigger than your prize prize money? Bishop a4. Okay, so you're playing bishop b5 check. Got a kind of weird, weird Dutch here. Let's try to be provocative against Jeroen and uh, and not let him tell us what to do. Okay, Geese. Geese is going to test me in my Scotch knowledge, which is non-existent. Um, if I knew you played the Scotch, I would, if I could remember you played the Scotch, I would avoid it. Very good structure against Bobak. Had a lot of games like this lately, where like White just modestly does like a three and stuff. It's not so bad for White. Um, they played a well-known drawing line. He didn't have chances for first. Oh, that's weird. Uh, but I mean, if he beat the like, really, he didn't have a chance for first. He was more than a point behind. That seems strange. How could he be that far behind? I mean, it seems like if he beat Elianov, he would tie for first, wouldn't he? Or maybe not. I, I didn't really count the points that carefully. Um, but that's kind of disappoint always disappointing to see a quick draw on board one. Any kind of tournament. So Anto Johnson sort of got me, tricked me into playing a, a modern defense. You know, he played d4, move one, and then g6, move two. So that's always kind of surprising. Um, I played a game with a center pawn loss of 11. Um, you played or I played? You played. I'm guessing you mean you played. I'm sure it wasn't me if it was center pawn loss of 11. <laughs> Alright, we've got a kind of English against the, the Dutch there. So guys, we're going to chatter a bit and then... Wow, what is Geese doing here? What? Is that a variation? Are you sure? Are you sure? Um, yeah, I guess this is my game with... I want to say this is my game with fine gold, but... Was it queen b3 or not? I can't remember. Something doesn't make sense here. I, I don't know. All right, well, I can't remember. I, if I can't remember, I can't remember. Chef master played bishop g4. Um, now it's different. c4, pawn takes pawn. Yeah, this is okay. I'm going to try this sharp line. Uh, King's Indian attacks everywhere. Um, you were thinking about another game. This was a boring draw, but not as fast. Yeah, I mean, I think White had the win. You know, he has to go all out to win. But as I said, I mean, the tournament, you know, with 
we don't know how much these guys are getting like for their appearance fees it's just a kind of weird situation to see 2800s in a swiss system tournament um okay bishop d3 i'm gonna play just classically here a lot of as i said closed games today no open games <laughs> except for geese what is going on here um I, I thought this is just like I thought this wasn't even like playable for white. Queen takes b2. Is this some sort of trap or something? Queen takes b2, knight takes c7 check, king d8. Knight takes a8, queen takes a1. What the heck is going on there? Um I mean if queen takes b2, knight c3. Looks kind of dangerous for black, doesn't it? I also have check and take on e4. What the heck is going on here? Um, this this somebody made a mistake in this. I mean, I don't believe this is like normal. I just don't believe this is normal. If I play queen h4 check. The heck is going on here? Queen h4 check, king g3. No, he's got to play g3. Queen takes e4. Um, knight takes c7 check, king d8. Knight takes a8. I don't know, man. I don't know this position. Um, kind of would be good to just have this memorized, but. Uh, I never saw this happen before in this line of the scotch. I just have to calculate. The problem is if I if I take on b2, um, you could play either knight c3 or knight takes c7. I just want some kind of simple solution to this position to present itself what well, like queen h4 check uh, doesn't seem to help me um i could play even queen d8 here now if i'm really really desperate for a solution i can play queen d8 queen d8 the problem is knight c3 but then i can play a6 and this does look kind of this does look kind of fishy you got queen g4 or something queen d8 queen g4 possible um possible problem. I'd have to play like king f8, which, which is pretty random. Still, queen takes b2, knight c3, or knight d2 actually. Kind of like knight d2 there. Both moves are interesting. I don't know this position at all. Um, queen e5, just queen e5 protecting. Then you could do like queen d5 or some bizarre move. <laughs> queen e5, queen d5. Undermining my c7 pawn. Then what am I supposed to play? It also attacks f7. Um, queen e5, queen d5, king d8. Doesn't look really right for black. All right, well, we should just move on to another. Good point about the fees and their presence in the tournament to begin with. But I guess the madness is suitable for a chess.com sponsored event. Yeah, I was like, I was a little surprised to see like, even like on Internet Chess Club, they're broadcasting the games from a chess.com sponsored event. That seems kind of weird. I mean, not because they're not allowed to, just like, why do they want to advertise like a tournament that's sponsored by another like online chess site? Seems kind of strange. Um, anyway, let's just make a decision here. If I lose, I lose. Um, if I lose, I lose. Was I afraid of queen g4? If I lose, I lose. That's all there is to it. All right, let's let's go passive. We got forty minutes left. 
I'm sure that I had a better move than this ultra lame continuation. And then now bishop b5 check. Is there a knight takes d5 here? Is this theory? Knight takes d5? Knight takes d5, knight takes d5, queen takes d5, knight takes d5, knight, queen takes b3, knight takes f6, check. Pawn takes f6. Pawn takes b3. I feel like this is theory, like knight takes d5 here. It looks like it's theory. I'm getting myself into some kind of sharp situations now. The Fred from Piece of Sheet. Fred accepted. Not really up on my Fred theory. Um, I guess d4. I mean, why would I do anything else? This is somewhat dubious opening for black. This is definitely a similar problem. And we've got a knight a6 king's Indian here, which is pretty standard. Um, this is my favorite line of the scotch. I'm glad we get to play it. I bet you prepared queen takes b2. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it's like some totally random, obscure thing. So, I probably played into a, a real variation. Queen d8 feels very passive to me, but I erred on the side of caution. Yes, of course, queen g4. So, I don't know, guys, but I'm just going on my, you know, I'm going with my instincts here. I don't know any theory, obviously. And now against Vanarek, um, I think I have to play d5. Well, Franco playing, uh, okay, possible Botvinnik variation. Queen e1, prime number. Um, well, it's not really a normal Dutch. So, Queen e1's interesting, but... What should I do? B5, B4, you know, the usual recipe. All right, guys, as the time starts to tick away, I will slowly, you know, try to play a little bit faster. And then Bishop D3, right? I mean, what else can I do here? So, dark chess prod lord it looks to me like you're playing a kind of tempo down in the queen's gambit accepted line with c5 now how how dangerous that is i'm not really sure and i have two moves here d5 or or e5 and i'm not really sure which one is better there are other moves too but i'm pretty sure that one of those is clearly the best I mean, d5 is more positional. I think e5 is more sort of tactical. All right. Honestly, this line is adv adv advised against because black has a way to get a draw, but it's really complex. Yeah, I couldn't figure it out, and I already started like wasting all my time to try to figure it out. I noticed. Okay, now you're threatening e4 here, Babak, so I really need to come up with a plan. Bishop e4, blockading that square. It's like a reasonable solution. Um, and then bishop g4, h3. Bishop e3 here. Then knight g4, queen e8, right? All right, we've got a main line, same-ish. Anto Johnson, we played one draw before, I don't re really recall. Wow, down to the Bear Kings, what a game. Guys, welcome to my stream. Now, I played Rook B8. I feel like I've kind of committed myself to this. Yeah.
just in advance, thanks everybody for joining us here for the simul stream. If I want to waste time with Castling here, waste time with Castling. Um, play c4 right away feels more dynamic queen e8 f6 is another move there um, piece of sheets now with knight c6 so we're in Fred Fred theory and like what now like c3 are you like salty egos new account or something he liked to play the Fred I mean, now my pawn is just hanging on d4, so I gotta do something. Alright. And Franco plays bishop e7, getting a kind of passive queen's gambit declined. f4, it's a very aggressive move. Here, oh man, I mean, that's actually very logical. I don't know if f4 was even the best for me. Alright, queen b6, d3. At least it's good in like a few positions I actually know what I'm doing. Um, queen takes b2 is advantage to you though. Interesting. I didn't see anything too clear, so I s sort of decided to play it safe, so to speak. And then pawn shaped 2 one, 3. Stream looks good. Now e3 from pawn shaped. Now queen b3 is some move that they play sometimes, but it looks it looks kind of risky, honestly. Um, this should be good for black, though, I would think. Even d3. I mean, so if I let you play d4, it feels like your position subtly like kind of makes sense. So I'm going to play d4 myself. And then what now? Queen c2, very solid move. f5. Knight d5. There's bishop check here. I don't really want to trade pieces, though. I was even thinking about knight e4, like an ultra aggressive move. Not, not trading anything. All right. Piece of sheet. He's well prepared in the, in the Fred. The knight a6 now b4. The idea is like knight c4. I have bishop a6 though. Not sure how good it is. Certainly interesting. All right. Now what? Reverse Grunfeld. Bishop g5. Or just castle. We got a Lopez. It's kind of cool. An A4 from Babak. I think I don't really want him to trade that pawn off. On the other hand, um, maybe it's not a big deal. If I go knight f6, then where does my other knight retreat to? If it needs to retreat, not really sure. Maybe I should just play g5, g5, g4. I think g5 is kind of weakening. All right, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna just freeze your pawns. Um, I've got to consider the time factor. I don't want to get in really bad time pressure. Knight f6 from Felipe. And then a very strange position here. Pawn Spanker played h6. That is original, man. It is weird. All right. Dark Chess 34. Hey guys, what's up? Um, not his exact words, but a paraphrased version of them. Um, Queen b5 check, I guess. I don't mind trading queens here. Worst case scenario. And then Dark Chess probably played a strange move. Queen a5 check. So we've got uh, Chef Master. Chef Master hasn't played us in a while. Um, I think now we need to take on d5. 
some point there. Um, this is theory, not a very popular line for black, kind of passive. And now e5, um, right. Well, that's kind of weird. I mean, I thought that, what did I think here, actually? I mean, why would I be surprised by this? This is, what just happened? Did I just make an illegal move or something? All right, that was confusing, but it's over now. Um, Knight c4. We had a little bit of lag, or somebody had some lag there. a4, queen a5. Passive Freya. That's not a passive move. Queen a5. I don't think I fear that queen too much. Um, I'm going to play bishop c4. And then h6. We're in theory here against Bob, Bob h mall. No, Bod h mall. Bod h mall. This is this is book, right? Or is he supposed to exchange first on e5? Actually, I think there's both. They're both lines. Um, not sure which is better. So geese now with queen f4. That's a kind of tough move to to meet. I think I have to play d6 only move. I like my structure. And we mount as much pressure as we can on, on pilot's pawn structure here. I guess knight c3. Or pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, knight c3. It's kind of interesting. Tough call. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn, knight c3. I don't know what the difference is, actually. Hard to say. Um, your ruin is threatening to win a pawn on c5. Do you want to win that pawn? You want to win the pawn on d5, like knight f6, takes, castles, um, interesting. You could just play pawn takes pawn or queen c7 or something, queen b6. Queen b6 is kind of, kind of awkward, but probably okay. Queen b6 is kind of awkward. I'm just going to play knight f6, let you try to win a pawn if you want to. Um, well. So this is like knight d6, rook moves, knight takes b7, trapping my knight on b7. It's a bit awkward. Welcome everybody to my stream. Um, don't forget I have a YouTube channel, Video Chess Training on YouTube, if you guys are interested. Um, check that out. Okay, now Babak, go on for it. Um, yeah, I'm going to attack here, not because I'm an aggressive guy, just because I feel you're threatening my rook on f8 with the bishop a3. And gcew, you know, trying to play the martial gambit against me, I guess. We'll play um, a4, I suppose. Try to avoid the old martial. And I don't know what's up with this. I mean, I like being up a pawn here. I think Max, Max screwed this up. This just looks good. This just looks winning for white, in fact. Um, 95, basically like winning. 9c6 is a much better move there. Get Stark Chess, Prodlord. I think he's losing a piece. No, Rook H6. The Classico, El Classico, right? Classic Stonewall attack. Routine. Now what? So we didn't manage to win a pawn against ILG. What do we have to show for this position? B4 is kind of interesting. Petrosian like. B4, B5, Knight A5, kind of funky. Um, let's try it, something creative for once. All right, so Queen E7. Now, it's like a French exchange variation where I'm up a pawn. I need to develop my forces. Castles, kingside. 
seems pretty safe. Knight d2 also okay. And we've got the Grunfeld going on here. So against Chef Master now, usually they recapture with the e-pawn or trade queens on b3. He's done something else here. He's taken back with a c-pawn on, on d5, which is pretty weird. I don't really know how to react to that. Bishop e3, um, queen takes b, a, b. Bizarre position, kind of. Knight c3, just... I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Knight c3 takes, takes, knight c5. And I've got problems with my pawn. Chef Master, what are you doing, man? Knight bd7, cd. What the heck am I supposed to do now? Queen a4, something bizarre. Queen a4. Perhaps, interesting move. Um, let's try it. You only live once. Now, bishop c4, very subtle. Very subtle. That's the way to beat me, usually. If I play knight h6, my knight is really just wrecked. Um, never get it off of h6. It feels safer to play knight f6. Actually, it's not giving me a lot of time to... Um, If I do play knight f6, I'm kind of pinned though, pinned permanently. Not sure, if I want to, I want to go that that route or not. Knight h6. Um, hmm. Okay, let's just play it. We don't have a lot of time to think, guys. Um. Drink ketchup is out of book. Okay, we want a piece against dark chess, so what we want to do now is try to, you know, consolidate our our winnings. And then we're going back here. We're in theory in the King's Indian. Passive fry, this is kind of unusual position. A3, maybe playing against the queen. Seems kind of legit. But I'm not sure. Something to be said for stopping that queen on A5. Um, bishop D2. Let's just call it into question. All right. Well, we should go into this pawn up ending and what what's the situation there? Take, 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 check. Looks good to me. I don't know if I had better, but oh, knight, now knight b6, that's gotta be a solid move for black. Knight a5, knight e3. Just ignore it, I think. Just take back with the queen. No, if I play bishop b2, you've got knight a4 there. Man, that's kind of harsh. Um, wow, what do I do here? Knight a4. Hmm. Maybe I have to play like a4 or something. That's position is kind of pissing me off. Um, knight b6 from ILG. Hmm. Using a lot of time. I would like to play a little faster. Knight b6 is a good move. What would Vlad do? He's our authority here in this type of position. But maybe just, just knight a5? Super weird, but maybe not bad. 
of blocking his, uh, I don't know, knight a5 seems so strange in this particular position. Um, I need to develop my pieces. Problem is bishop, bishop e3, okay, it's a developing move. I need the castle. So pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn. Guys, thank you for joining me. We'll be back, you know, during the weekdays with our regularly scheduled blitz stream. Now queen h4 is just a really strong attack for black here. Bishop b7. I mean, most players play b4. Why is that? Now knight c3, I guess. Very solid setup by Vanarek. Yeah, he played me a tough game last time. I was very lucky to win that one. The bishop's a little passive here on D on e7. Really sure what what kind of setup I want for my pieces. All right, <clears throat> so. Something says that all here. I was worried about knight a4 there, but it's a little risky for black. This way, white's slightly better. Um, pawn spanker with a delayed, you know, the, the weird hyper king's Indian with h6. Now, chef master, I can't play knight e5 because he'll take my pawn on e2. But I do have bishop e3 at some point. Doesn't necessarily look good here. It just takes my pawn on b2, and I don't really have any compensation, do I? I don't know. Bishop e3, yeah. He goes back, play that. Yeah, he's got queen b4. Doesn't work, that's good. All right, um, yeah, just... Happy to be up a piece when I'm up a piece. And then we're moved from Ozzy Sutari, Queen E7. Thought forever. It's it's interesting, Queen E7. I think in this instance, I mean I'm very tempted to take and play d5 because the queen it will shut the queen down there. Nice defense from Babak. Looks like I'm going to have to find another way to win this game. After knight f1, the direct approach is not working, it appears. It's going to kick me out with f3. I don't remember if we played Babak before. Yeah, there was a game, apparently. Um, oh yeah, it was black and that too. Similar structure. All right, this is this is kind of annoying. I don't know how to make progress here. He's gonna play f3, gotta get out. Got to get out. Um, if you're gonna make me get out, I mean, knight g5. I'll probably go to g5. I don't know. All right, we'll make a move. Um, here we have a good game though against prime number. Here we have a good game. We're up a pawn. Piece of sheep play knight h5. I expected that. I'm not sure how good it is. Do I want to hold on to my bishop pair? I mean, probably in this position. I need to hold on to it now. Unusual move from Franco. Knight e4. Okay, this position. Now what? Like bishop e2. Got to remember the formation. Um, knight e2, knight c4, knight d2, knight c4 is an idea. Or just probably h3, something like that. Keeping him tied up. 
King bishop e3, queen e7. This is book against Bode H. Mall. Very powerful white squared bishop. All right, you ruined chickened out there. He didn't try to take my pawn on c5. Probably would have been a little risky strategically. And we've got to play carefully here. On b4 now, not possible. So against passive fry, I play queen b6. The queen looks awkward there for sure. <clears throat> Yeah, and we've got knight a4 at some point. The queen looks very awkward on b6. So, actually, they could take the pawn. She could take the pawn on b2. She, I guess it's a she. Um, rook b1. Guys, we're down to 25 minutes. Fresh kid, I, I think it's really not a problem if you give your opponents just half your time. Makes the simul faster and you don't get so much time pressure. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely good for me. So this, uh, this transposes to a kind of down line in the, in the old, um, hyper accelerated dragon. Now queen d6, another queen move. Well, what he's up to there. Exactly. Do I want to play rook e1 here? Is that kind of passive? Is it just my imagination? Yeah, that's kind of passive. Um, let's just do this. Now bishop e3 is interesting. But still... <clears throat> still have problems. My B pawn, queen B5, knight D4, and bishop E3, queen takes B2, chef master. I feel like I have anything here. This is a really lame move to play queen B5. What am I supposed to do here? B3 or something? Uh, maybe. B3, can I do that? Looks okay, actually. Seems strange, but it looks okay. B3. Alright. Odd move, but I'm going to play it. Now we're getting to that point where we really have to start kind of blitzing a little bit. Just going with our instincts. Eight, we have B five maybe. B five, F three. Now B four and and I think Pacifier really is passive here. After allowing B four, he takes C three. Bishop takes D eight. Knight takes, uh huh. It's kind of a weird line. I have time to calculate it too much. Um, D four. But if D four King B six could be kind of an awkward move. D four King B six. Then I guess Bishop C four. Rook c8, b3. It's kind of awkward. It's probably okay though. And then this one, I don't want to take too much time. If I'm up a piece, I really don't want to waste a lot of time um, thinking about moves when I can concentrate on other games. Here, we really have to consider taking with the f pawn. Open the rook, but I'm. Losing the quality of my pawns a little bit there. But the F file, it's much safer in a way. Gives me active play. Okay. We're up a pawn. 
It's not a great pawn, but it's a pawn. So we have more time than last time. Last time we ran into like really brutal time pressure. Maybe f3 here. Weakens my king side a bit. h4 also. So I think just bishop f3 and uh, hang out. Now c4. With good play for black, I would think. This position. I mean, how is white going to meet this knight d7? Bishop b5. Oh, okay. I didn't think about a6. It's probably not a big deal. But a good move. Um, for black there. Okay. Yep. Rook c8. Now I can force... Uh, Force what? Force a trade? I have knight c5. Getting myself in an awkward position if I do that. Probably not. <clears throat> not knight c5. But what? Good question. Um, what am I going to do here? Think. Start thinking. Knight c5. Looks okay. Black queen could be in, in problems, um, in for some problems there. Okay, should be five check. I guess this is theory, so to speak. Did this with Jinji long ago. Um, castles, g5. So what do I want to do about g5 here from Pawn Spanker? Some kind of weird, crazy thing. Just play h3. I don't really recommend h6 bip bip in the, in the sameish King's Indian. I don't think that's the safest thing now. Knight c3. I think white looks like he has, you know, really good kind of chances, but I'll draw upon my wealth of experience in the Caraclide variation of the Sicilian in this game. All right. We've got a development lead against piece of sheet. I don't know what it's really worth though. It's just one, one little double pawn extra. The weekly simul. Think about it. The only thing that really matters is that I have enough time for all his moves since he's a lot stronger than the field. Well, I mean, yeah, if I have a lot of time, I mean, the more time I have, the better I'm gonna do, obviously. This is not a deep scientific secret. Knight takes e5, pawn takes e5, knight e4. Knight takes e4, pawn takes e4. It's up with this. There's like knight e5, knight takes e5, d takes e5. Knight e4, bishop takes e4, pawn takes e4. Um, queen g4 type things. And then like queen b2. So I guess um, consider taking on d4, cd, ed, knight takes. And like knight d7, very solid position. Wow. Dark chest probably are whipping out the tactic now, but I'm not sure, man, what's going on here. All right. Well, worst case scenario, we can give up a pawn, and this is not the end of the world. Have a piece, or a piece to the good. And then pacify, I got the queen in a really bizarre spot there. Even a4 is kind of tempting now. Kind of like it just continuing the space gain and prime number threatening to threatening to he's giving me the exchange here um i'm not a big fan of grabbing that honestly she's it's a whole exchange though um take and play f6 kind of not easy for black you know i think i'd 
feel better about just like ignoring that. Um, rook b2 looks good. Getting on the seventh. So now chef master, we have bishop a3 trading your good bishop, so to speak. Um, this one option, bishop e3. Bishop b2, just simply bishop b2. How about that? All right, so now Knight f3. We're down to like 20 minutes. Um, now here, knight takes d7, rook takes c2, knight takes b6, rook takes d2, knight takes d5. Um, and we're like up a piece there. I mean, it's got to be good enough. Alright, so here, it's starting to look pretty good. D3, simply. Bishop f5, knight c4 idea. This is pretty good play by Felipe, though. I think he's got some concepts going on. I don't really want to trade pieces. Rook takes c2, knight takes b6. Queen b7. All right, so here we've got a5 lever at some point. Um, I was thinking h4, h4, h5. You trade one set of rooks and play a5. I mean, I think that's the file doesn't matter a whole lot here, does it? Um, king f2. You guys are playing really quick. Um, now I can play pawn takes c4 as well. Pawn takes c4. Pawn takes c4, knight takes c5 with a very good position. I would think this is a very good position for me. And then, now Babak is making me feel a little uncomfortable. Have a very very small advantage against Franco, Chef Master. Questioning my queen. Now a three. That's got to be a kind of normal move. I think more common is knight d five. This is interesting. Knight c five. Or c6. What do I do if c6, uh, b4, rook d8? I guess this is okay. King's Indian type position against Azim Lee Sitari. Interesting that game. Double attacking my, my pawn on e4. Could play bishop g5, just give it up. And like b4. I've seen this done. Um, I don't really like giving up the dark squared bishop, honestly. So we'll continue to play logical moves. Time is of the essence. ILG with no entry points. Bishop d3 here, maybe. That is a very good piece on f5. I have to kind of give him credit for that. E4 is a little risky. In this position, it's a little risky to play E4. Why don't we play some sort of sensible move? 
and my time is ticking away. G4 actually isn't bad. Strangely enough, All right, I just really need to keep it simple. Pilot 100. I've got a check, and the check looks like bishop d7 there. If check bishop d7 isn't so bad for black, is it? Check bishop d7. I guess bishop g5. Just keep it quick. Keep it moving. Seventeen minutes and counting. Um, e four, interesting. A five, maybe. Yeah. All right, we're just playing quickly. Playing blitz with everybody. Knight takes f six check. Oh, I see. A takes f6 check, not so clear. Uh, bishop g5 is interesting, though. Bishop g5, knight takes b3, pawn takes b3, knight takes d5, pawn takes. Um, but he gets... Yeah, he can probably get out of the pin eventually. Interesting try, though. Is there anything else? Well, I could just play bishop a2. It's not really great. Interesting defense. By GCEW. Try to simplify when you can. And I don't know, man. I like this structure for black. We we're up a piece here. This is complicated positions. Structurally, we're good there. Bipip played a5. That's quite an unusual turn of events in the Samish Kings Indian. Now that, I, I can't approve of b6. I mean, it looks really extreme to play b6 for Freya there. Um, it looks really over the top with the queen on a7. All right, <clears throat> everybody's fast. I'll give them credit for that. A4, queen side pressure. <clears throat> so knight c7 threatening bishop c5. Okay, I gotta play rook d8. It's okay though, I looked at this. Now h6 or g6 on the king's side, or sack, I can take on e5, let him have the h7 pawn. That looks kind of crazy. Maybe h6 here, I don't know. All right, speed it along. We've got to speed it along a little bit here. 16 minutes, etc. Um, what am I doing here? 95. Just rook c1. It's a positional move. All right, bishop b7. And. Wow, what a bizarre game this is with the queen on a7. That is crazy. Master Blitz players. Okay, so I was thinking of taking this under different circumstances. 
Rook takes d2 and then take. Nah, it's not so great for me. Um, really want to get pressure on on whites here. How can I increase my pressure on whites? Double on the file. There's knight d5s coming. Uh, that's going to be very annoying to meet that. e6 is weakening too. So let's see, knight d4. Wasting time here. All right, 15 minutes, guys. Sorry, I can't. I just can't really chat. Um, but I appreciate you guys being here. Anto Johnson, over, you know, didn't go for the queen a4, kind of trying to hit my my c6 pawn. Really need to get my pieces developed. Uh, okay, ship g4, ship e2, king's Indian. Which is a new opening for uh, this particular opponent for Asim Lisoitari. We have wild ideas here. Knight takes f6, pawn takes f6. Um, knight takes a1, bishop h6, knight takes a1, knight h4. Sacking and exchange. I mean, it's pretty extreme. The crazy ideas here I have. Well, very few crazy ideas ever actually work. Now, this was obviously Bip Bip's plan to play knight before. In my experience, I mean, the knight on b4 isn't that big a deal, so we just kind of deal with it. And then f5. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to challenge him. Um, okay, bishop, bishop b3. So first off, I mean, I really want to get that knight out of there, man. I mean, why c6, though? I want to control d5. You might ask why c6. 1, 2, control d5. So we got the Bobby Fischer type of ending there. Um, I don't know which way to recapture here. Rook takes. I suppose rook takes. All right. Maybe before it is. We try to attack black with like h4 here. It's a little crazy. I think it's best just to develop. Oh man, nice move, rook d1 from Vanarek. Now queen c7, knight b5 is a problem. It looks like we're going to do queen c8 or something like that. Actually, queen c7, knight b5 is not a problem, is it? Not a problem? Well, it could be a problem. It's not a problem immediately. It could become a problem, though. Like my queen here sort of what should I do Queen c8 does it matter Knight takes d5 pawn takes is interesting and then I have Knight c5 kind of like this transferal of pawn structure Bishop h2 welcome guys Bulagan on the Kings Indian or the what are you talking about the Lopez the Lopez Should have some tactic here against Senor Babak. Knight g4 looks very strong. He's got g3. Knight f2 check. So it may not be as strong as I thought. It's still strong though. I mean, this is still strong. Okay. Bishop takes e4. You want to play like rook takes c6. And then the craziness starts in b5. That's just pawn spanker out of his mind. Okay. Rook c7. Seems a bit weird. I don't really know what to do. 
It's going to start making random moves. I want to really thank, um, yeah, thank people who supported the stream by donating via PayPal or even those who donated by the uh, GoFundMe. It's really awesome, and um, you're making it possible for me to continue this. So please, you know, even if you can donate five dollars to the stream and my YouTube channel, Video Chess Training on YouTube, it's much appreciated. It goes a long way to to helping this to continue doing this since March, basically. And uh, so far, it's a success. E4, this is a good move. Uh, I think it's time to check. All right, we're walking away from the king here, from the king, from the file, the open file. I'm not a place, not a happy place, really, for my king here. All right. Okay, we have to take on a5, classic Benoni structure. And now queen h3, so I don't see anything better. And against piece of sheet, I mean, we're up a pawn. Now, how much this pawn matters here, we don't really know. Um, it's not going to hurt our case. You know, we could win a lot of endings with this extra pawn, so happy to have it. Now, against Mr. Geese, we've got to uh, consolidate the king side now. G6, um, or knight G6 is another option. Maybe put my queen on E5. A little worried about the... Um, G6 is interesting. G6, weakening the F file looks kind of dangerous. Can I go for his king with like knight h5 now? His king, his queen that is. His other king. Um, knight h5. Hmm. What is he playing after knight h5, by the way? Your other king. Sir is in trouble. Bishop h5. We're going to weaken the king side. I love doing this. g4. Um, black doesn't really have counterplay in the Benoni after a5. Now, knight b5. Wow. Well, knight b5, okay. Fair enough. Um, Knight c5. Can blockade. This position is starting to kind of be annoying. Um, taking too much time. Vanderek. We had a very, very tough game against him last time. A lot of Polish players. Good to have you guys. Um, Queen c6 here forces f3. I don't think that really helps my case too much. Does it? I'll just play knight c5. I don't know what else to do. King h7. And then, for our next try, uh, I don't know. Knight takes h2. Doesn't really look like it's going to be good enough. Um, we have no immediate way to crush Babak 888. B5. He's just trying to con con sort of confuse the issue. Pawn Spanker. And now Knight E3 looks very solid for White. Knight A5 is tempting, but this move is much more solid. Um, passive Freya. Living up to their name, but still, you know, no real tangible weaknesses um, that are easy to exploit here. Yeah, what did I do? I, I let black equalize, or close to it against Franco, it looks like. Don't really have much there. So... Against Yerun, we've got some C file pressure. Is it enough? Rook takes drops a pawn. So we have to do, uh oh. We have to be, uh oh. We're going to have to be very, very careful here. Um, 
Rook takes, Bishop takes h2, e5. It's not going to trap it. All right. You guys are fast. Now what? Queen f4 is not enough. Rook f6. Looks kind of stupid. Not really sure how to make progress here. force the bishop back to d7, so it's not protecting uh, d5 here. And then we can play queen d4, just in the center. At least white is not worse. Um, okay, queen c6, queen b6 is fine. Bishop takes d5, pawn takes d5. Wonderful pawn structure I have there in that game. And this is very advanced from Azim Lisutari, um, a guy who doesn't normally know any theory. He's playing kind of advanced chess here with h5. Um, positionally advanced move, threatening. Bishop h6, which is really a good idea. All right. Oh, knight d5, where are you going? Knight b4, that's... Super weird. I'm headed for the same area myself. Yep. So king d3, bishop takes. Rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. And we're up a pawn. This ending, which looks good. Nice positional advantage here. Maybe f3. We could just play pawn takes pawn. I don't really like it. Um, actually, that's a good move. Rook d6. Wow. Nice move. Alright. Knight g8. That's pretty sad. Black did not want to do that, really. So we start going for the center. And geese, geese avoids the, um, I thought I had something here against geese. Oh, simply trading queens was my idea. I don't know, maybe I have something better. Knight g4 gets mated in one. Yeah, I think I'm going to avoid getting mated in one. Not today. It's not on the menu for today. Um, okay, knight f6. Now what? Got a good game here. Um... Maybe just like take the pawn. We've got c4 with a tactical trick like winning a piece. Nice. That's really great. I'm gonna like take it and, and lose a piece. Felipe used no time. Okay. Um. Yeah. Maybe we wanna change change some pieces here, as they say. Geshel <laughs> or whatever it is. Rook takes e6, doesn't work. Babak is like super fast. All right, rook on g5, I'm starting to have my doubts about the placement of that. Um, you guys are really, really speedy. Now the Okay, c3 is probably a good move here. Throw in. And now, yeah, bishop e3. Technically winning position against max. Notice the emphasis on the technically winning part. Um, man, this guy is, pilot 100 is playing tough here today. f3 is dangerous. So let's just develop a piece. Man, look at this game. Chef Masta playing like Masta, actually. Um, he's really playing like a Masta here. Mastodon. 
Knight a4. Um, g5 is interesting, but I think it's probably wrong. Very interesting move. But why wrong? I mean, to hell with it, I say. G5, yeah, it's not good. I mean, I don't think it's good. It's not good. It's very weakening. Rook c2. Maybe I'll just step away from the c-file. Step away from the c-file, please. I'll give you the c-file. Knight d7. Now we can take the pawn, or you have another trick for me. Rook takes a6. Um, you have another trick for me here. Knight b6. No. All right. Step away from the chalupa. Uh, bishop d3 or where? Do we go back to a2? Stay on the long diagonal? Am I going to protect that pawn in the center if I do that? The Fisher-esque ending. Um, not so easy now. Wow, what is coming up with this? Knight f6 threat. Bishop f5 is forced. Okay. There it is, bishop h6. And I like hallucinated that I had knight g5 here, something really weird. Um, but space is space, so you should have some space advantage. Actually, why don't I exchange for bishops on h6? I mean, come on. That is in a bad position. That is really, yeah, that pawn is not going to stay on, on h2 anymore. Um, okay, so tactics, none. All right, I'm happy to just get to the ending, a pawn up. And then the h6 rook, not the best I've ever seen. Knight g5 is interesting. Queen d2, queen e3, repositioning. It's probably not bad. I'm not sure it's the best, but it's not bad. Now like g4. Exclam. In technical <laughs> technical positions I have a chance. Uh, this is a weird one. Bishop h4, g5, bishop. That looks pretty good. Hard to argue with bishop h4. Um, yeah, we're out of here. Happy to get castled. Bishop, bishop a5. I don't know where that's going. We're in good shape. With the file, extra pawn. All right, plenty of increment. Now knight e3, huh? Oh. Uh, knight takes h2, rook takes h2, queen takes g3 check. That's, that's not good. That That's a trick though, he's got, man, he's got this trick, no? No, it doesn't work, he doesn't have knight g2. Knight takes h2, rook takes h2, queen takes g3 check, e1's hanging, and knight g2 because I'm covered with double queen on g3, rook on g6. I can do this. Um, and then this theoretical king's indian now. Is knight c7 the best move or not? I don't like this knight on a6. Not good. So... All right, queen d6. The chef master scaring me today. Um, threatening e5. What would Elianov do? Um, right, f4. Kind of risky, but it does achieve its <laughs> achieve its goal of of just gaining some space. Um, I guess. What else am I gonna do? Nice move, e5. Classic position. Just gonna play. And we got a choice of rooks here. Maybe the e8 rook is more active in a way, influencing the central file. I'm gonna go with that one. We're getting kind of low on time. Wanted to fix this pawn on, on dark square. Queen takes g3 check. And then here, g4. It's like the bishop from hell. Um. It's the bishop from hell on f5. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take. And then Freya breaking out, man, this looks. Wow, what a hypermodern game this is. 
There's unbelievable stuff going on here. Um, B4, okay. But realistically, what is black threatening? Realistically, what is black threatening? To like take over the dark squares, kind of. Pawn takes pawn. Let's take once and, and then worry about it later. Got this. Got this. All right. Now knight g5. Ooh, knight g5 and... <clears throat> I mean, knight g5's got to be fine. Wasn't the original plan there? All right, it's blitz time, guys. It's time to play some blitz. So, what are we doing? Um, I like the king on d3, yeah. Just um, make moves. Queen e8. Man, I mean... Pawn Spanker's really gone over the over the over the borderline with this game. Too much space. Keep it simple. That's our motto here. Especially when we have like no time. Now, the moment of truth. Knight d7. It doesn't really change. Change the situation a whole lot, I guess. Pawn takes c5. What a bizarre situation. This is a really strange game, honestly. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Wow. Okay, this is just super weird. Queen b7, queen b2, I mean. D takes c5. Man, this is just too bizarre. This is just too bizarre. Um, man, I don't know what to do. What am I doing? I just don't know what to do. <coughs> Excuse me. B5. All right. How many games do we have left? It seems like a lot. A lot. Knight A4. Everybody is playing Blitz. Man, I mean, yeah, I don't know about this. Oh my god, I just allowed that. That's unbelievable. I did that. I just let you play Rook. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Now I'm like, wor like worse. Um, wow. That is the worst move I ever played in my life. Literally. Wow. Oh, and I'm just like, okay, good game, me. Yeah, we're going to lose one. That was actually a pity, because that was a really good game uh, for us. So that's a silly game to lose. This guy is playing unbelievably. Now, queen c6, I guess. Knight takes g5. Bishop takes g5. King up, rook up. I was just going to play bishop g3. We are going to lose the occasional game, it looks like. Nothing to be done about it. And really, the brutal, the time pressure. Brutal the time pressure. Where this time pressure comes from. And where did the time go? There's guys with like 43 minutes. I mean, I really wish you people would use your time instead of trying to play Blitz. Um, what's up with the people that have 40 minutes? It just seems really lame. Um, 
Man, Chef Master's playing like extra well today. Here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Just playing Blitz here. <coughs> this is looking dubious for white. I hung mate now? Oh my god. Wow, Felipe, I just hung mate again, so my bishop on h2, okay? Good game. But it's mostly about time. Um, man, this silly, like, losses. Queen d5. Knight f4 check. What is up with this? Right. And I can't play this. Very interesting position. This is okay. I should probably hold on here somehow, but um, I'm very, very fortunate. I already like should have lost two games. It looks like. Man, we blundered multiple games in the time pressure. It's, it's unbelievable. White there, very smart, not taking that pawn. It's pretty, pretty advanced. Um, now, like, what, f3? Okay, so, um, yeah. Just ridiculous time pressure again. Chef Master. All right. Knight takes b7. Okay. We have that. I'm trading queens against geese. I'm very happy to do that. Um, hopefully the only losses I have today are silly one-move blunders. I feel a little better if that were the case. Let's play f6 here. An interesting move. Um, I don't know what white's, like, black's doing here exactly. All right, bishop takes... Look, f2. Very fortunate against Max, missed like a win, uh, an obvious tactic, because I was crushed otherwise. Should have been two terrible blunder, blunder losses, but there's just one at the moment. Um, we're working on more, if possible. Now we've got to be careful here. No time. H3. A3, that is. Um, knight B5. This positionally is a disaster for black. King F3. Wow, man. Queen D8. Queen D6. Maybe. What happened here? Oh, you can just take that. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's interesting. All right. Um, the time is always a good, a good fun. Knight f5, f6. The arm is falling asleep again. We do get that from time to time. Um, this position, he's threatening some nasty stuff. So I think I want to be on the safe side. Queen d8. This should be a pretty straightforward win. Black with, uh, with no counterplay. Pawn takes pawn. So, passive friar played bishop c6 now. Wow. It's like insane position. Like, this is a really abstract way of playing chess, the way Black has played this game. Extremely abstract. All right. h3. What am I going to do now? I was thinking just h5, lock it up. Lock it up, lock it up. What's up? Rook g2. Rook c2. Rook g2. All right. Not much time left. Um, four minutes. What are we doing in King's Indian here? 
White has played extremely well. And like H4. Should be able to open the H file. <coughs> Queen E4 here. A useful move, I would think. Rook H1, Rook G1. King D6. We've got a good ending for once. Um, Bishop C4. Take Queen A5 now. And pilot 100. Playing and admirably. And then pawn takes pawn. Kind of like this way. Giving him any counterplay. Um, this game was a disaster. I, I mean, I really just totally blundered. Rook takes e5. Knight takes e5. Knight takes e5. Opens up the queen. Pressures d7. Black is, is probably good here. In this one, no forced wins. Check. King f1. Not even sure if it's worth it to play that. Wow, king d6, kind of a weird, weird square. I really need to get my... I don't know if I can do this, though. Get my, my pieces in the game. This is really amazing. Okay, queen d8 check. So now you're pinned to the file and we've got some counterplay. Um, rook d8. Dra dropping another queen is not a good idea. Man, it's unbelievable. That my prof proficiency in like blundering pieces here today, I'm pretty high. Rook d8, that's a good idea. How about just like Rook c8 or something. Bishop c5. Rook h1, rook g1. No draws. No draws today. Anti-drawing day. Um, well, what am I doing here, exactly? Losing on time. Besides losing on time. All right, we managed to close the file there. Clamp down. I should play d5. That's not necessary. Probably not necessary. Um, positional advantage, g6. Um, offers a draw, draw. Terrible blunder. Draw is the best I can do there. You should have won a piece, max. Um, I'm very fortunate that that didn't occur. Now what? Like. King f1, king e2. What am I supposed to do here? And how do I make progress? We sack a piece. Wow, bishop takes, g5 takes. I don't know, man. That's interesting, though. I don't really know how to make progress here. Running out of time. Rook takes f6. Um, bishop takes e2. Rook takes f6. Bishop takes e2. Well, whatever. Whatever I say. Um, now e5. Yeah, I don't care too much for that. About that, I should say. The h file. Just think about the h file. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. I don't want to trade queens there. Wow. This queen rook d7 is is really annoying. Um, okay, queen d3. Now what? You ruin your hanging tough, man. But I think I'm a little bit better here. Should be a little bit better. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. King h8. I need to make a move. Okay. Rook there. Wow. Queen h5. Queen h5. Let's do it. Do it fast. Um, King e7. Here. Knight d4 in the center. My knight is kind of screwed up on h5 and knight g5. Wow, look at this guy. Pawn shaped, coming out of nowhere now 
with like game. He's got game now somehow. In this position, he's got game. It's interesting. Okay, this is a bad structure, but his bishop is bad, and I mean, yeah. Okay, whatever. A6. Rook B3 or something like that. D1. Um, knight takes E6. Now what? Knight takes E6. Bishop F8. Queen C6. Queen D8. I don't know what I'm doing here. Bishop takes E2. Um, you could just, just move my rook. That hangs a pawn. That's good. So we really thought this through completely. Um, what was I looking at? Rook takes f7. And this is crazy. Uh, okay, even if I lose a pawn, though, I mean, it looks like white still has some kind of pressure. Looks really weird, though. Miscalculation. This is unfortunate. Really miscalculated this. Rook f3, what am I supposed to do? Oh man, this is ridiculous. Um, rook takes f7, rook e6. I should really have serious compensation for this exchange, but it's not enough. Um, everybody's a GM. And pawn shaped 2000. Bishop d4. This really should be a winning attack for white. I don't see how it's not. Every single piece is in the attack there. And then here, the rook, the pawn on c4 is pretty weak. So, bishop takes, rook takes, bishop takes e4, so g7. And now, bishop takes h3, or just take, just take and win a pawn, knight e4. Wow, that's kind of aggressive. Forking me. Very subtle. I am likely to blunder here, so that's a good try. Plus my arm is falling asleep. Um, and I'm better here, but I don't think I can win. With the queens on the board, it's kind of a problem. Let's try something. Queen d1. Um, here knight g4. Thought I had something, but maybe not. Or knight takes d7. And now he's defending again. It's like impossible. Um, pawn takes pawn. How is this even possible, dude? All right. Queen e4. I see. All right, interesting move. Knight c5. Pawn shaped 2000. Now he's got knight b5 defending. I really don't have any time here to mess around. Stopping me from invading along the file, brilliant. <clears throat> you rune. I don't mind trading pieces there. This should really be bad for black. Um, here, I feel like we're out. We've outplayed geese to a good degree, um, but still, we have work yet to do. Good knights, not enough to win the game per se. Look at this move coming up with. A 
Vanarek. Guys are pretty strong. Um, pawn takes pawn. Queen takes d2. e5 at some point, but still, Irun is hanging on here. Um, <clears throat> not sure how safe this is for me, actually. We're going to try it, but... Get this game by pawn shaped. And now, another one. Um, massive problems for me out of nowhere. Just out of nowhere, I have massive problems against Franco. And now c6. Azim Lee Sotari with uh, a lot of pressure. I'm going to hang a piece here. Playing so well. Um, c5. Or even d6, actually. This actually should be strong. Um, that should be my first reaction. I don't know why I, uh, I didn't do that right away. Bishop f6 is a star move by black there. Probably impossible for me to win. Now knight takes g6 check. And g4. It's a little bizarre. He's like trapping a piece or something. Wow. Um, Alright, I don't have time to think about this. What? Somebody has less time than me? Alright, that is just bizarre. Why is it like there's just like this acceleration suddenly? Um, all my opponents are just playing faster in one moment. And look at this move he finds here. Wow, rook d8 hanging his queen. Um, that's pretty amazing, actually. G5, G4. Now in some games I have more time and some games I have less. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's, it's a bit weird. How that quite works. Um... Knight a4? What? What just happened? I don't understand. Alright. I don't understand what just happened. Somebody just, like, gave me a piece? I don't understand what just... I just lost a piece? No. Alright. keep thinking I'm, like, dropping pieces. I mean, everybody's playing like it's... One minute with, with ten seconds increment. It's kind of strange. Um, now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Wow, what a game, dude. Seriously? Um, oh, that's pretty subtle. Okay. Franco. Rook d8. Um, that's pretty subtle too, man. This is pretty amazing. B6. Uh huh. Alright. What is going on here? I can't drop my knight. Where does Azim Lee Sutari come up with this stuff? Like, seriously. Um, how can I make progress in this position? A5. B5. Rook C8. Rook takes just dropping a pawn because I can't calculate. Wow. That's interesting. Okay, that's good. Anto Johnson. So he's winning a clear pawn. The level of the play, it's sort of amazing um, how well everybody plays. Nobody makes blunders. Everyone's super strong. Rook a3, pawn shaped. This guy is what? He's 1700 in bullet. Okay. Um, maybe now b5. 
Sacking a pawn? Opponent offers me a draw. ILG used no time the entire game. Um, yeah, well, he's clearly worse, but I don't think I can win. It's kind of a problem. And now what? Winning a pawn. Pawn spanker. This this is an amazing game, this rook c4, man. I mean, that's like a GM type play. Um, GM level, basically. Bishop b6, also extremely strong. A lot of subtle, subtle play. Um, now this one I didn't understand. White just sacked a piece, like crazily. Um, really bizarre. Here we just dropped a pawn, the time pressure. Did not even defend it. Man, I just can't believe how bad the time pressure gets. It's like un unreal. Um, Queen f3, knight f4, black's like better there. Yeah. Queen f3, again. So. But I, I'm really bored with people playing for time in my simuls, you know? I mean, just again and again and again. Um, it looks like we win a piece here in a strange position. Um, I don't understand the thrill of winning on time in a simul. But if you guys want to. Alright, now, bishop e4. Alright. The people that I have a problem with are the ones who have like 40 minutes right now and are flagging me. You know, I mean, it's like, what is the point of playing in this? I don't understand. <laughs> Um, for those of you who don't have 40 minutes, then, then it's okay. But, um, we got a draw for here. I thought it was like winning a piece, but I'm, I'm crazy. So it looks okay for me. I mean, I'm down a pawn. You played an amazing game. Pawn shaped. I mean, it looked like you were just totally busted and somehow came back. And then this one, we're losing a piece now. Not immediately, but I'm sure we're losing it in the near future. Anto Johnson. Okay. So, and I think C5 might have just been winning for, for white there in that ending. Piece of sheet has 20 minutes. I don't understand how he has 20 minutes left. He didn't make a move for like years um, in that game. Let's see. So, wow, recapture. Why not with the king? I don't understand. That is strange. Okay. I mean, if I don't win this game, then, I mean, I'm not going to ever win any game, basically. Rook takes c4. And it looks like we should be okay against Vanarek, who's extremely strong. I mean, really played a tough game against me last time. Look at this game. King d7 from Pawn Spanker. Really? Really? King d7. g4. Pawn Spanker's like 1,500 or something. Um, man. But he's always like got this increment thing going on. Look at this knight b5. Unbelievable game. The way he's played on this, on this pin um, is really incredible. The way that Black Franco has played this pin situation here. New account, 27 games. Um, looks like, you know, a, a master minimum. Um, I have to be very careful not to just lose here. Looks like I may be just lost. Strange, bizarre play by, by Black in this game. 
basically flawless. Mm -hmm. It's a miracle if I don't lose here. The way he exploited that pin is un unreal. Um, all right. I like never have an advantage in like one game. It's sort of hard to believe, you know. You can never actually beat anybody. Um, no one ever makes a blunder. All right, now knight d2. And then you're like, this is a sound piece sacrifice. Seriously. Um, now Anto Johnson with rook c5. Well calculated. I see. The perfect move. All right. Nice game. Another winner. Another lucky winner. Um, queen h3, queen takes h4. Nice compensation from GCEW. Very, very nice compensation. Back rank problems for me. Serious issues. I better, uh, I better bail out and try to draw if I'm lucky. Um, all right, rook takes d4. And this guy played like unbelievably. Should check this out. I mean, every move is like perfect for black. For Franco, um, he played like Kramnik, basically. Perfect play. I hear maybe I can bail out somehow, but I don't really see how. Um, I don't see how I can bail out. Rook d1 or something. He played basically perfect game. All right. Um, I'm gonna lose on time in all my games, I guess. It's good. It's all good. So we're just gonna bail out, give up the bishop pair for nothing. You can't win this position, like you can't win any position in chess. Um, and and check out pawn spanker. Just craziness from the beginning. Chef Master with a completely unsound piece sacrifice. Now he's hanging a piece. All right. Finally, someone actually blundered. Wow, that's like the first blunder anybody made the entire simul, basically. Um, man, look at the pressure that the pilot has. It's unreal. Knight takes d5, bishop takes d5. What am I going to do here, you know? Like he's battered with an isolated pawn. Um, look at this guy. Their GM. Um, all right, queen takes f3, we're going to lose to Yerun. Yerun is better, this position. It's hard to believe, man. It's just hard to believe. How am I worse on every single board? It's just unbelievable. d8, d3, d1. This game is, is got to be, you know a way to win that. There's got to be a way to win that. G5. And uh, amazing game by Black here. It's Pilot 100. Incredible. Tough you guys are. And now I've got to play King F3. And be careful. Oh, man, Yerun. I'm just panicking on time. Yerun's played fantastically. He hasn't lost the last two simul games. I mean, I'm just trying not to be worse. Against Geese, I honestly, you know, was playing for a win this whole game. But it's getting kind of frustrating now. Look at this move. Pawn takes pawn. Takes knight. 
just wins by force rook h8 from pawn spanker pawn spanker what's your real rating oh yeah 1983 okay that's it's interesting rook h8 winning by force i thought i could like sack my queen here pawn takes pawn takes pawn takes but it's not enough So I guess I just lose by force. It's good. Good game. Well played by me. Man. Everybody is like master strength. Um, whew, it's brutal. I thought the more time would make a difference, but it really didn't. Um, I'm still getting brutalized. Rook takes d1. I mean, honestly, it feels like the average player is like 2,200 in the simul. Pilot playing like solid master. Um, even Yeroon. Yeroon is, is uh, just ripped apart, man. Every single game. Queen c2. Here we're better um, for a change. I'm so surprised to actually be better in a game. Here we have something. Um, man, we had some brutal losses though. Brutal losses. And the time is unbelievable. So I have no move here or what? I can't do anything. This is like ridiculous. Um, rook takes c5 and sack the exchange, I guess. I'm going to get mated on the back rank. This is crazy. Um, I don't know. This is really bizarre. Just really bizarre game. All right. So there, of course, what is going on here? Mate. I thought I had my rook on a different square. All right. Let's move it there. And then, wow, I mean, Vanarek played a perfect game, but like now rook a7 is just so strange. And this moment to play rook a7. Um, what happened? I didn't make a move. If I did, it was a blunder. Uh, I didn't mean to make a move there. We're just hopelessly lost here now. This very, very correct game by Pawn Spanker. He played perfectly. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I mean, he just played absurd, absurdly and uh, crushed me like a dog. But Franco's play is really impressive. Um, basically played like Kramnik the whole game, and uh, it's it's a little almost too good, almost too good to be believed. Franco, new new account, okay. Yeah, well he played like like Kramnik in this game. That's a little too good, dude. All right, this should be a draw. We're going to hang on in that one. Um, man, I feel like I've been fighting an uphill battle all the way against Pilot with a better pawn structure. I'm like begging for a draw. And now we have a tactic. C7, rook takes. Is this enough? Rook C7 check. I don't know if this is enough or not, but we're going to try. We're gonna try here. We got some some games we could grind. I could have played 95 last move. I didn't do it. I decided to make a luft. Oh, that's a bad move. Okay. Um, look at this defense now. He's got this. He's got this knight h6 move. It's like what? You gotta be kidding me. Your own offer to draw here. Um, I want to play a couple more moves. Uh, maybe it's a draw. I'm going to play a couple more moves against your own. Um, not really sure. Man, I don't know if I did the right thing there uh, against the last opponent. Now, Rook takes f6 check. This was the idea against Chef Master. Um, man. What am I doing? 
Knight takes, check, no good. Now the king comes up, seriously? Oh my god. Queen d7. Like rook d3 or something? This will probably hang a piece. Um, yeah, it looks like it probably hangs a piece to something. Just a matter of time till this guy wins a piece. That's the feeling I get here. I mean, it's been kind of like that since move 15. He's going to win a piece, dude. It's just impossible. I'm going to hold that game. Now I, I made this catastrophic blunder against uh, this guy. And maybe I can hang on after rook c4. Brutally in time pressure. King c4, king c6. Man, I mean, this is, it gets harder every week to play one of these simuls. Even with more time, it doesn't feel like... Uh, it doesn't feel like... What's up, Espresso Forever? It doesn't feel like uh, the extra time did me any benefit at all. It feels like I, I've gained no advantage from that, um, honestly. I'm not going to take a draw, dude. I would play 100 moves before I took a draw in that game. Um, wow. There's no mate here. It's impossible. Man, it's impossible. Wow. This is crazy. Queen g6 check. Oh man. Pawn takes pawn check. What do I do? Pawn takes pawn check. Looks like I must be lost here. Bishop takes pawn. This is just lost. Another game. But pawn spanker, I mean, I don't understand what, what that is about. Like, playing just absurd chess. That is sort of <laughs> this, dissing me with, like, absurd moves and then, and then crushing me afterwards. Um, it's kind of strange, dude. Bip, bip was just like totally destroyed and and defended like you, you don't believe it you don't believe it how he defended this game how is it possible I just hung a pawn all right that's good good start now I should hang the game um yeah this is lost I might as well just resign here against palm spanker but this is a game I'm pretty pretty ashamed and angry about um against Pawn Spanker because it's just like he just totally like dissed me. Uh, Queen C6 another yeah. I'm just going to resign against this guy. This guy I have a zero chance against him. Um, I could have told you that 15 moves ago. You can forget about it. There's some opponents you can just forget about it. There's no sense wasting my time in that game. Uh, here against Geese. Uh, Geese, no. You ruined the other Dutch guy. Um, I have some theoretical advantage, but I don't think it's enough. Probably still a draw. Now, rook b7. It's still interesting here. I'm down a pawn, but he's got a bit of a risky structure, so maybe I'm okay. Um, yeah, this I just resign, I guess. This one, too. I mean, I could play it out, but it's, it's feeling like... I guess I have to play this out. I feel like it's kind of like inevitable that I'm going to lose. Now what, queen d7? Alright, queen d7, I guess. I'm not really sure what we're doing here, besides trying to lose. Um, this is a mate. Should be a mate. Where's the mate? It's here. Alright. Um, takes me a while to see mate, generally speaking. I really thought I would do better tonight, but I really got. Man, we finally got another blunder. Geese, <laughs> he's six minutes left. He's got more than anybody. 
I didn't expect him to blunder. Um, this one is tough against Yerun. Chef Master, it's a mate, man. You got you got it night with check, but then you're still getting mated. Whew, that was a really bizarre game where Chef Master just sacked a piece for nothing. Um, it was kind of strange. Against Bip Bip, I still believe there, there are ways I might win this game. Geese blundered. I really wanted to win that game against him because it was such an interesting opening. That's really, it became like a kind of personal quest for me. Look at this now. Man, tough game. Now we transfer the knight like to d4, or what am I going to do? Prove my king? What am I doing here to win? This looks like it, it should be a win. But I could be wrong. f6, man, good move. How do I uh, even think about getting a check or something? This has got to be hopeless now. Queen g1, king g2. One last spite check. And no, I'm not going to take a draw here. I mean, I feel like I have all the chances in the world still. Uh, d4, wow. Can I play knight e2? Is it forcing a draw or something? Oh, uh, here. Man, I don't know. B4? And then B5. Or Rook A5. Rook A5, Rook A1. He's getting his king over. And this is finally a win against Geese, but it was a tough game. Knight E5. Nice move. Oh man, he's got knight. Knight to d3 lined up now. Ridiculous. Um, GCEW, where are you from? USA. Oh, 1600 in Blitz, man. You play a little better than that. Um, here. Always a tough game, though. Now, I'm, I'm getting really a bit too low on the clock in this one. Uh, maybe this is not good. All right. I'm going to lose on time if I don't do something. And then this move, rook a8. You're up a pawn. Queen b2. Uh, we have mate. Nice to get a mate for once. Takes, one takes, and offer to draw here. That is ridiculous. Piece of sheet. I don't know what you're thinking there with the draw offer, dude. Um, it's really generous, but I'm going to have to pass on that one. Now, rook takes f4. Probably not good. Pawn takes. Knight takes d4. And now... We could torture black forever in that position. Actually, h6 is interesting here. Um, a3. Fixing the pawns in the right color. And then... I don't know, you ruin. You ruin about this end game. Beep beep. Guys, this is a long one. Um what's going on here? I'm happy to take this pawn. Maybe GCW made a mistake finally. I thought he just hung a pawn with check and he didn't take it. It's kind of bizarre. Um, well, nice to reach a tactically winning position. And it has been brutal today. I mean, I must have lost three or four games. Um, maybe one or two, several draws. It's not looking like a good week. 
And then here he's getting, getting tough. He's hanging tough against me. I better play f6, I guess. All right. And what happened? You didn't take on b2. You go to the fork. I didn't see it either. Wow. So we're totally lucky against... Uh, we got immensely lucky against Pilot. There was a fork on c6. I didn't even see it. Now king d7. Rook a1. Setting something up. I know. But the GCW messed up his position. Now rook takes d5, take, take, rook down, check. A little bit risky. Although I don't know what choices I have at this point. Um, I don't know what choice I have here. Kind of need to take this. Rook c8. I'm definitely in trouble. Definitely in trouble. Well, I wanted to resign this before, honestly. This this is a really embarrassing game, though. Um, you know, he just sort of dissed me. I don't understand the, the joke opening. Um, okay, b5. You're going to win that pawn on me. It's not nice. You've got to do something more active. And this is a win for me now, probably. Oh, wait. He's, he's going to take my pawn. That's not a win. Um, I can't give him the pawn. So rook, man, he has a crazy perp. If f3, rook takes f3. Take, take, knight takes, king f1, knight h2 check is a draw. So I have to play rook, jeez, rook f1. To try to play for a win there. Rook a8, wow. Okay, so an ending up a pawn, I'll take it, sold. Um, here we have good winning chances. And geese is... I'm sorry, I keep calling you ruined geese. Um, Dutch guy is a Dutch guy, right? No. You guys are different. Um, all right, bishop e2. And we t take this pawn. So, Yeroen got into a little bit of time pressure. Um, now, my plan was what? Knight h5 here? I had another plan. And I haven't really used it. Kind of. Um. Yeah. All right. Is this winning or is this like a draw? Not really sure. If only Black would hang something in this game. You guys just tortured me in the simul. King c4. It looks like he ruins kind of given up. Well, I don't know what he can do actually. It's my move. He's given up. He's not given up. What am I talking about? All right, king g7. Maybe king f7 there? No. Um, he's not giving up. Yeah, keep you honest. And g4. Man. He finds g4. Seriously? Oh my god. How do I win after g4? Exclaim. Black so well coordinated. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, you're kind of more space, but your pawns are on the wrong color here. It should be a draw, though. It's probably a draw. I don't have any risk in playing on, though. No, I have less space. Um, I take a chance here, sack a pawn. I don't think I can really go wrong with that concept. I almost just blundered the game, I think, with knight d4, rook d2. I'm, I'm like, lost. This is crazy. That's crazy. But I think it just loses. Oh, maybe not. I can play knight e3. 
which doesn't lose. My goodness. All right, b5. I think that's somewhat questionable. Let's take g5 check. A clear exchange. This has got to be a win. And then get to the king. I want to cut off his king. I can't really do that. This may be a draw. He's got the pawns on the right color. Um, all right, king here. Irun, are you saving this game? Bishop d4. What would Kramnik do? F3. Can I do F3? Can I hear F3? It's the only move, basically. But it could lead to trouble. The only move that doesn't lose material. What's up, guys? Eight games left. That's a lot. Um, yeah, I thought so. I guess Yerun is going to save this after all. thought I could outflank black here. Knight c4. Or just a5. Oh, I see. He's got another trick. Oh, what a surprise. He's got another trick. I guess I'll just have to, like give up resign or something what happened f2's hanging with check what how is f2 hanging with check oh my god what how do you have a check and then you check me on f2 oh my god so i had to play i had no move no i had king e4 what happened i don't like when it makes my move for me this is just Great game. Just a great game. By Black. Nothing I can do. Rook A5 or something? It's like ridiculous. Um, GCEW. Man. The amazing game. He just finds tremendous resources. One after another. This like now I have to fight for a draw. I better just take and beg for a draw here. Hey, this is resigns. Pawn spanker. I'm very angry about that. That's just kind of diss to play those opening moves, man. Um, Bishop f two. You had that? Damn. Now, am I going to win this? Am I still winning? <clears throat> rook e2 check. Rook d5 check. And then e2. It's not enough for me to win here against Yerun, I think. see this maybe black will win that game probably I'd be happier if he did actually I'm perfectly honest <laughs> this is ridiculous to not win um, all right <clears throat> so what now like impossible to win against Bodhi Mall. I 
the pawn up and it's worth nothing? Well, maybe not. Maybe it's not impossible to win. I shouldn't say that. You do have a passed pawn. Maybe it could be winning. Suddenly, Yeruin is like... I keep doing this. Geese is, is in the game here. I don't think it's enough, though. Um, you're playing for a win here? Okay. Good. Rook d3. Knight f6. to see that being a win. Um, this pawn has got to be worth something. Don't know if it's enough to win or not. I'm just gonna hang on my on my pieces here soon. Okay. Endgame technique looks like our only chance. Not very good though today. Rook e d7, rook d7, can't free my king, maybe f5. Rook e5, check. I don't think this can be a win for black, really. Um, bishop f4. Not sure that's the best square. Well, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Kind of overpressed in that game. Rook d5. Is there any way to win this? Perhaps not. Trying to win the impossible. Rook d5 here, that's a good way to like lose. I don't know if I can make progress here in this position. This is pretty tough. Knight c4 is like a draw. Rook d7 check, worth a try. Um, this is a draw even if I had no pawns but it's a uh, it's a moral victory for Irun played really well um, how to win this I don't know f6, f5 not yet and then d5 so okay I don't know how black's going to make progress here I'm sure there's a way Rook d6. Um, yeah, I just, um, I like to think of this as a useful 
form for learning. That's why the joke opening bothers me, because I'm taking my time to help people to improve. And, uh, and when people play, it's not about a superiority complex, as a very nice user there suggested. It's simply that you know, I think our time is, is, you know, is kind of best used. Um, it would be better to use our time playing like some sort of serious, serious opening, you know. So the, the rude comment there, um, not really, you know, called for. All right, let's try to uh, imagine how this position could possibly, possibly work out. I don't think so. I don't think this is possible to win this. This guy is going to draw this. Um, I just think it's a waste of time, you know? Um, that's my problem with it. It's not about a superiority complex. It's just wasting everybody's time, you know? So that's that's my issue with that. I don't mind if you play the Latvian Gambit, you know, but to just play h5 and, and b5 and sack pawns on both sides of the board and get an absurd position, that seems like a strange thing to do, you know, in a form where I'm just trying to kind of teach people and, and learn something. Um, that's what I don't really understand. So, in this position, what's going on? Let's see, king g6, h5. Um, yeah, that's pretty strong. Is it, or is it? Is it or isn't it strong? Um, I don't know, actually. Not really sure. Knight c4. Yeah, black has all sorts of tricks now. Um, bishop c1 or something. Probably gonna lose to bit bit, but it's sort of <laughs> crazy. Uh, let's see, rook d2. D2. I mean, I don't mind if people want to play, you know, semi-dubious openings, but just totally absurd things. Um, that seems like a waste of time to me. So, anyway, this looks like a draw. I'm not going to make progress there. We got lucky in this game. Man, knight f5 check. Do we have something here? Jeez, do we don't have a win here? Bishop d3 looks nasty. Man, what do you do against bishop d3? Pawn takes g4. Jeez, what does he do? Bishop d3. That's kind of brutal. Uh, bishop c1. Yeah, I'm just going to offer a draw here. I don't see how to win. You're not playing not that is good in the evening, said Chesby. Still enjoying your simul. Um, well, I don't think it's about evening or um, maybe I was a little tired today. But uh, it depends, you know, um, on the day. Take, take, king, h5, f5, king takes, yeah, take, take. Um, I shouldn't trade rooks, obviously, unless it's definitely a dead draw. Take, take, king, f5, king, h5, f5, and black's probably lost. So I just don't trade rooks. I mean, play rook d3 or rook d1. Rook d1 is best. Even if I had no pawns, I mean, that's a draw. This is obviously a draw. Um, and now this position, now we get to the really fun part of this position. Now, uh, maybe king e5 here. All right. Um, a lot of draws. I mean, endings that are just draws. There's nothing we can do. I thought I was mating pilot here. Apparently I'm not. It's kind of a problematic hallucination. Um, man, we're so close to winning material. We are winning material. Okay. A little bit difficult to see this combination, but it's all with check. So now, um, this looks like even GCW has to accept a draw here as the correct result. Played a great game. OK, 
king f5? I don't know. Yeroon is playing on out of momentum. He can play it. Um, now, how do I make progress here? I don't. It's the easy answer. Um, let's see. Bip bip. Well, we just gave gave a pawn away for nothing against bip bip, and uh, it was kind of crazy. Well, that's a draw. This is uh, I don't really know what uh, what we're doing here. Getting maximum distance with the rook, and against <laughs> Yurun. Yurun can have fun all he wants to. Um, All right, he's my friend. Uh, Bodhi Mal, yeah, good game, man. I mean, I really thought that, you know, maybe earlier it really should have been the draw, and then I was probably winning. I was totally winning at one point, but it wasn't so easy anymore. Put my knight on c4. And you ruin. Yeah. Maybe you ruin is an endgame expert. I think GCW is playing for a win here. Well, there's a big difference between playing this sort of format and playing playing longer time controls. <clears throat> Here I have a5. The take, take, king b6. He's like making progress there. And that's There's some games today that I just, I can't even begin to imagine how I couldn't win, you know? Um, but there's this, like, there's always some moment of absolute um, brutal time problem. No matter how much time I have, it doesn't seem to matter. If I add another 20 minutes, it's the same as, as it was before. It's really strange. Um, it didn't help at all, like, the extra time. So now how do we um, block the, the check here with like rook, e4, <clears throat> um, geese has really, really tried very, very hard in this game. How should I do this? Rookie two, um, a five or something. A five, b two, a six. No, rookie two, bishop g six, rookie four, take, take, a five, b two, a six, b one. Yeah, I don't know. How does he stop this? Now knight f six. You could try a five, sacking, sacking material, but it looks kind of crazy. Yeah, thank you, Euro. Good game, man. This looks like a draw against GCW, who plays a lot better, and not just today. I mean, he's played much better than his, his score against me. Um, I don't know how many of these are actually si all simul games. Yeah. Well, I was saying last time he was pretty good. Um, but... Yeah, I, mean, I guess we should just agree to a draw there. I can make a move. <clears throat> I've got a more centralized king. This is Oligas territory. Vanarek says, yeah, thanks for the game. Glad to draw with you. Vanarek, you played superbly, and I thought, uh, I thought you were, you were, like, winning. Um, probably with, with, like, not trading your C-pawn, um, in that position. 
I thought the end game looks very, very problematic to me if you if you don't trade trade the pawns. I mean, maybe I'm just lost. So thanks guys, we're gonna be back um, Monday morning, tomorrow morning at uh, 10 a.m. Blitz and Classical Chess. You ruined thanks for the game, man. Tough game. You were worse in the opening, but not that much. So it wasn't like maybe you were ever lost. You were slightly worse, then it was like maybe equal. Not really, um, I was I was hopeful that I would be, that I would win that, but not enough. How many do I have left? Just three? <clears throat> this one is, has been a disaster. Really um, not happy about this one. So, <clears throat> excuse me. What am I going to do now? Okay. Beep, beep. 1094. This was a really strange game, man. I mean, Val writes you were you were a dead man, and now you're like gonna win. It's so bizarre. Like, um, really bizarre. Creepy crawly defense, like whew, strange. And what do I do now? Like knight e3? Because I have to play that. I mean, it's may maybe not hopeless. Um, and I check. So, yeah, that looks like a draw, sir. The game. We're down to the last two. Um, on time. I thought 930 would be the deadline. That's right where we're at. I mean, I, actually, the, the second game could last forever, theoretically. Um... You advise everyone not to click on random links. Yes. Um, you could have taken the pawn with the bishop and then won the rook after check. Oh man, I must have missed a lot of stuff like that today. Um, but anyway, um, what should I do? There's a lot of ways to win this. And then I have to play rook a1. Maybe I'm not lost. I don't know. It's really strange position. Just create a fortress. Maybe I can get a fortress draw. I don't know. Not greed yet. I don't want the pawn. But Keith, this was my favorite game. I mean, because it was that crazy opening, and uh, I wanted to. I wanted to prove I could. I wanted. I wanted to prove I could defend that, the Scotch, line. Because um, I don't know the theory, so I was totally on my own, and it was a scary kind of opening. So. I don't know if the plan I chose um, was good. A great time to play with you. Must look afterwards for the king's opinion. I guess I'll just take this. Let's see if I can get a fortress draw in the other game. Well, I guess I like this. If I want to make a waiting move here, though, I mean, why do I have to move my bishop necessarily? Well, you can move the rook. So Geese is still still alive, technically. Um, now what's he doing here? Knight c4. Let's play bishop c1. It's not giving up. Queen h2. Which way is your pawn going? <laughs> Which way is that pawn going? I don't remember. Um, uh, like, no. Yeah, we, we scored 50% against the Dutch guys. That's not too bad.
that's the way it's going. All right, I have to. I'm gonna have to take it. I think. Now. Crusader of Hope, um, oh, a different plan? You never actually, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure that it's probably not theoretical, um, not necessarily theoretical in nature. We're gonna try A5 here. Desperate. We're desperate. Last game, guys, 9.30, turn into a pumpkin. And tomorrow, I continue my air of superiority. At, at 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday, we have Blitzen Classical. Um, just always angry when I don't win. You know, I expect the most for myself and uh, did not get it. Did not get it today. We're down to the last game. Um, weird position now. Got in A5. Uh, Black has these two pawns kind of dripping down on H4 and, and B4. But suddenly, suddenly things are a little bit murky. The beep beep has 20 minutes left. I think your line was better than what most play, since I think I won about all those games, said Crusader of Hope. It feels risky, you know, to play King F8. Allow, you know, to do that, but... I mean, my king is already going to be in danger wherever I go. I'm curious to look it up myself. Um, thanks everybody. Don't forget to check out my YouTube channel, Video Chess Training on YouTube. We'll finish out this last game. Um, and then Blitzstream every day during the week, 10 to 12.30 CEST, Central European Summertime, a little bit while longer. Um, we're gonna do Wednesday, unusual openings, thematic day. And if you have any suggestions or comments or you just want to contact me about training, um, send me an email, videochesstrainer at gmail.com. Um, beep, beep. <laughs> it's time to move. Then we have to have a method for like forcing that one player to move faster. They, they put the clock on the board. If it's a non-clock sign, we put the clock on the board. He's got all this time, man. He's got 18 minutes. That's a lot, man. I don't know what we're going to do. Bong Bang Bing. Thanks for hosting. But, you know, I appreciate it. When you guys take the game seriously. And you don't play bullet chess and you, you don't play absurd stuff because we're here you know and we're here to learn and like be serious and try to really benefit and uh if i wanted like silly i would play bullet so so i was a little salty that i lost the absurd opening but it's tough it's tough my clock is running on all boards i really need to play like 60 minutes simon what happened um black resigned Whoa, why did you resign here? I mean, I don't think that's really necessary. Resigning, maybe he just was too tired to continue. Um, because I don't think the beep beep is necessarily even worse here. I'm not sure, I mean. Okay, he can't take on a5 with a pawn. Uh, but, okay, your decision, man. Maybe we're just tired. I'm not sure it's that clear. Um, we got 11 wins, seven draws, four losses. Not quite as bad as I thought, but it felt, it felt worse. Um, it felt worse. Pawn Spanker, no luck at the stream. Um, wish I had more time. Yeah, you always have no time, Pawn Spanker. You always play perfectly with your uh, with your remaining increment. Anyway, guys, I'm glad it finished on time. Um, you didn't have to resign here. Move 11. Do you think you'd review these games in a video? Move 11, that's a good suggestion. We did that with the, um, with the crazy opening stream once. And we can do it because we need to put up a new video on the YouTube channel. So, I will try to do that. Um, simul, 
Simo video review. Um, yeah, there were some interesting games today. I mean, despite the fact that I lost uh, some games that I was disappointed about, um, you know, there were some weird results too. Like, I don't know, Passive Freya resigned or disconnected. I mean, that position wasn't clear. Um, this last game, I'm not sure. Black was lost. Uh, we lost Asim Lee Sutari. I guess that was a, that was legit. He was getting mated. That was a weird game. A lot of interesting games today. So, yeah, I mean, I think I think it was more interesting than most. Um, Ciro and yeah, you opted for Thirsty Thursday. It sounds like a radio station promotion. Hump Day is Wednesday. Thirsty Thursday is like. I think that's from like classic rock radio station in Philadelphia in like the eighties. Um, that's probably our our speed right going back way in time anyway guys I mean it was fun I got kind of stressed there <laughs> during the time pressure um, but that's that's not bad just four losses and uh, like a lot of draws though and they were hard fought draws so I appreciate you guys and um, most of these draws were, weren't like I was giving away draws because I was like losing on time they were draws like draw draws um, against ILG, I thought I was better, but I couldn't break through. And, you know, all those draws are tough. So, good games. Everybody played pretty well. Um, you know, and I don't think anybody was, like, using a computer. Except maybe Franco played a little too good. I mean, I'm just, like, if there, theoretically anybody is suspected, I'm not like, saying he used a computer. But that would be, like, the only game where I would have any shadow of a doubt that, um, that anybody played, you know, suspiciously or something. But probably... We look at it afterwards, and Franco played, you know, like a human, after all. Although, over the board, it felt like I was playing Kramnik uh, once we reached about move 17 or something. So, we'll see in, in retrospect what the truth was. But, as usual, um, it was fun. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, again, 10 a.m. CEST. And I appreciate, appreciate you ruined to be here for being here and, uh, and moderating and playing, you know. Because it's not easy to play and moderate. We just love the 80s rock. It's our age, perhaps. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just... I, I, we didn't really love it. I was, like, kind of force-fed it. Um, and I didn't discover, like, you know, experimental and, and indie and, you know, alternative music till, you know, I escaped Philadelphia and got to Boston in 1990. So if I had lived in a different city, a more progressive city, I would have, you know, listened to cooler music. But I was a little bit late. But anyway, at least I was saved at the end. So this is Sparkle Horse signing out, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Guitar player, also. Good to see you, man. Take, take care. Later, guys. Bye.